Hello everybody and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to bring you guys the suggestions that I think will make Warface much much better. So as we all know every single update Warface brings in credit guns, maybe vendor guns, maybe Warface dollar guns, but anyways every single update they bring some kind of a gun into the game. Of course every 3 or 4 months they create a new map, rework an old map or create a new special operation and yes the map content is pretty much very exclusive and very nice looking most of the times. But the problem is that as a veteran player I've played all the maps over and over and over again for about I don't know 50 or even more times. And about the guns? Every new gun they add into the game whether it's a credit gun or worth his dollar gun I feel like it's similar to another gun that already in the game but the new gun they added is much more OP. The second problem is that when you enter an OP gun whether it's for Warface dollars or credits you need to match the previous guns you released I don't know one year ago or two years ago into the game you need to match them to the level to the skill to the damage to every aspect of the game of now. And it will take them a long long time to do so for I don't know 50 or 100 guns. And now I will tell you what suggestions I've thought of that would make Warface much much better especially for the veteran players whether they play PvP or PvE. So let's start with the first suggestion. The first thing I think they should add is the ability to change the gun mode from automatic to burst and to semi-automatic. Let me explain myself if you didn't understand what I mean. Every gun has a mode. For example, let's take the AK-47. This gun has automatic shooting mode. So every time you press on a button and until you release it, this gun is going to shoot. This makes the gun really hard to control unless you're really good at it but it makes the gun really hard to control so I would use for example a different mode of shooting a burst mode and this mode will allow me to shoot three bullets every time I press on the shoot button of course not all the guns should have the burst mode option but the semi-automatic option should be available in all guns rifleman, engineer, sniper or medic some people are really going to say that those modes are useless because they want to play with what Warface chose them to play with. But just think what is better in those modes than in the modes that Warface chose us. Let's take for example the AK-47 or the FY-47 and when you shoot it you see that the recoil is very very hard to control. It's the gun with the highest recoil in the game. Anyways just think how annoying it is when you are playing for example PvE or you're playing PvP on long range maps and then suddenly you are clicking the left mouse button that is the shoot button and holding it for two seconds one what happens is that your scope goes way up and two what happens is that you lose your target in the scope and you need to aim again and those two stuff can make you get killed just think you were able to change for the FY47 the mode from automatic to semi-automatic by pressing a single button on the keyboard. And then for example when you have a target that is very far you click on the left mouse button and the recoil is very small and then it goes back right into the target, the aim. So basically you are able 1. to kill the enemy, 2. you are not wasting a lot of bullets and it's very usable especially in PvE when you know that in PvE you need to aim to the head only and if suddenly you have an enemy in front of you you boom click on a button and you already have an automatic mode so this feature is something that I think they should develop I don't think it will take them a long long time because what they do is just limit to the amount of bullets of one that's it that's all they need to do to add the semi-automatic mode for burst is three or four bullets and for automatic well we all know what is automatic and yes some guns won't have all the modes for example the downfield will only have the semi-automatic and the burst mode it won't have the automatic mode in order to balance the guns the second suggestion is something that is 
I would say a bit harder to do, but if you think about it, it's pretty easy. It all depends on how the Warface developers are going to do that. So as we all know, when you go to quick play and you try to find a game, you are automatically sent to the safe house. What if you were able to invite your friends into the safe house? Yes, I know you will think it's hard to do, I know you will think you search for a game for 30 seconds and then that's it, you are going back into the game and you are going to say a lot of things against it. But I am going to tell you that it's going to make the game much more fun. I would suggest two ways to do that. One way is that you go into your inventory just from the game itself and you invite your friends into the safe house. You can be alone in the safe house or you can invite your friends. And then you both need to connect to some kind of a room that you are together in the safe house. I don't know if there will be any limit of people there I haven't thought about it yet, but let's say two people are able to play in the safe house together. And the second way is when you search a game, for example in Ranked, and you want to invite your friends into the safe house and play with them in the safe house until you find a room in Ranked. Of course you will all have to load into the safe house of one player and then to load again when you are finding a game room. So yes, I know, maybe you will load twice, maybe you will load longer, but let's say the time that you are gonna be together with your friends in the safe house is gonna be worth it. And let's say you don't want to do that, you don't want to join safe house with your friends because you know you are loading very long time, so you will have an option in the settings that will allow you to disable joining to other safe houses. That's it, that's option is very simple to do after you have all those thingies in and that's it. It's good for all people, people who don't want to join to the safe house and people who do want to join to the safe house. Yes, I know it will take the developers long time to develop this system, but I think it's gonna be worth it because every single time that you want to play with your friends in the safe house or train together, you will all be able to do so. And just think how cool it will be if they are going to upgrade the safe house that you can start more than one challenge and you will be able to start a challenge for example your friend takes a sniper or a medic or something like this and you all get a challenge together. So yes maybe it will be a bit difficult to do, maybe you need to think a bit how it needs to be done but I think it's possible and everyone will benefit from it, at least most of the players. And the third suggestion is a warm-up. What do I mean by a warm-up? So, as you know, in game like CSGO, when you load into the game, you have a warm-up. You can run around, you can train a bit, you can shoot other players, and you can have fun until all the other players have joined the game, because some people have very, very long loadings. And sometimes, for example, I need to wait more than 60 seconds, more than 2 minutes, in order for the game to start, because those people didn't load. There are two benefits for that system. One, if you have very bad PC and you are loading very long time, so let's say after we, the players with the good PCs, with the players that loaded for example very fast, we start training for about one and a half minutes and until we train there, I don't know what we are doing, shooting free for all, I don't know what, you are able to simply join the game and you will have one and a half extra minutes to load before you are going to spawn as it happens now in the second round. So if you are a player with a very bad PC you will be able to play the game from the beginning. And the second benefit is that if you are a player with a good PC you will be able to enjoy a bit before the game and to train of course. Of course there are many more suggestions like the voice chat maybe the first person view after you get killed or something like this or first point view while you are spectating someone but those things are already in development as far as I know. So basically those are the three suggestions that I think should be added into the game. I know some of you won't agree with me and because of that I want to know your opinion in the comment section down below. 
what suggestion you think is the best, what will work, what won't work. If you have any suggestions to improve the game, make sure to write me them in the comment section down below. I will read every single comment and it will be very interesting for me to see what you want to suggest to the game developers to do in order to improve the game. Or in other words, to make the game much more fun. So basically this is it for this video, I really hope you will write me some suggestions you think should be in the game because we all want to make Warface much much better. So thank you everyone for watching this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in my next videos, bye bye.